In recent times, the idea of balancing your life has become a recognized issue. In the past, we used to be asked to offer training on work-life balance. But today, we all recognize that balancing our lives is an important thing. It's not just about life and work. It's more than that. It's about having a clear focus on how to balance your own life. We realize now that we live life on many levels and that we need to work on all those levels to some extent and have some level of balance between the various important things in our lives. Not so much to be perfect as to be able to make life more present and have happier and more enjoyable days. And also to make the most of what we have been blessed with. So the idea is to optimize that which God has given us to make the most of what we have. Now the first thing to look at is to consider how balanced is your life. If you were to answer this question, to what extent would you say that your life is well balanced? Would you say it's to a large extent, to a small extent, or to a very little extent, or not at all even? The important thing about assessing yourself is because in this kind of a topic is that only you can assess the way you feel. It's about how you feel yourself and what's important to you personally. So one of the things that you have to consider is your values. The beginning in the whole of this exercise of uh, testing your life balance is to consider your values. What do you consider to be very important values? Let me give you some triggers. Is it freedom? Do you value freedom? Or is it security? Or happiness? Or do you want power? Or peace of mind? Or do you want to feel that um, you are helping others in your life? That your life is serving others? Do you want to achieve your potential? To improve your confidence? Are you adventurous? Do you value adventure? New experiences? Or do you value fun and enjoyment? Or you want to make a difference? Or to be the best of yourself? This is not an exclusive list, neither is it a complete list. You can have many of these, or some of them, and many others that are not on that list that I've mentioned. All I want is to trigger your thinking to first start by establishing your values, because that's where you begin before you go to the exercise to check how balanced your life is. Now, another question. Does your behavior match your values? Does the life you live match your values? You have identified your values, the things you value. Are you spending your time, are you spending your resources pursuing those values or in alignment with those values? Are you basically using your life or spending your life in pursuit of goals that are important to you? Where do you spend your money? your energy, your time, who do you spend your time with? Those are all questions that will help you interpret how aligned your behavior is to your values. The other thing is to look at the beliefs you hold. The research shows that the behavior is belief driven and that it's goal directed. That is once we know where we want to go, our behavior tends to go into that direction. Or that once we look at our behavior, we might as well be able to interpret what the beliefs are. But you know your beliefs. To change your behavior, you have to manage your beliefs. So consider what beliefs do you hold so dear? Think beliefs that cannot be shaken. Do some of your beliefs lead to unproductive action? Do some of your beliefs take you to the direction that you don't want to go? Is there alignment between your beliefs and where you want to go? Beliefs influence values and then values influence your actions. Let me just give you an example. There are people who believe that they have the opportunity to shape their destiny. That means they can take responsibility for their actions and therefore they will take a major effort to shape their actions in the direction towards their goals. The opposite is also true, that there are people who believe that their outcomes are shaped by destiny. And because of that belief, the way they behave will tend to be in alignment. The other question again is, what drives you? And where we come to look at that people are not always sure what they really want from life. So finding your drivers 
will help clarify some of your values or beliefs and sometimes in training we ask questions like what do you like what are the things that you really dislike what do you really want what drives your life what are you passionate about what's your passion these are questions that you can use to help you clarify what drives your actions and only then will you be able to go to the exercise that we are going to now so let's start by looking at this chart this chart has six different areas of life and you can look at all these areas you can draw a line to mark where you feel that your life is right now so for example you can draw a line between the two lines on the physical so you can assess your physical life and you see where it is, how you feel, by your own rating, really. You can use a scale of one to five or one to 10. You can actually use a percentage. You say, would I say that my physical life is like 50%, 70% or 100%? You mark a line that is around that. Then you go to the other area, your career or your work. Then you go to your family or social life. Then you go to spiritual and do the same. You go to financial and do the same and you go to the emotional and you do the same because balance is about maintaining all these six areas the physical the emotional financial family and social and spiritual and work goals need to deliver a kind of balance by marking your position on this chart you get a sense of feel of how balanced your life is you can use a scoring of 1 to 10 to assess yourself where 1 means that you're doing badly and 10 means that you're doing really well. Enter a score that best describes how well you are doing in this part of your life today. Be honest with yourself because this is for you and this way you will get great value from this exercise. Giving yourself a 1 indicates that you are doing very badly. Giving yourself a 4 means there is great room for improvement in this area. And a score of 10 indicates that you are totally satisfied with your performance in this area of your life and you are not even needing to do anything else, which is normally not very likely. After completing the exercise, you can connect the lines and see how balanced your wheel of life is. It's like a wheel and a wheel that is not very balanced, of course, you know, will not deliver you to where you want to go. So success would imply then that you are striving towards excellence in all these areas. It's not that you are there, but that you are striving towards it. The failure to address any of these areas that matter to you will predictably impact your life and your enjoyment of life and happiness and success in your career, personal life, your work life and your business. So this is an important exercise of helping you get a perspective. And then of course, the most important thing about it is that it helps you know where you need to improve, what you need to keep doing, what you need to stop doing so that you can be able to optimize these areas of your life. So to sum it up, the six areas to assess for your life balance are one, physical life, your work life, which can mean work, career, or business, your spiritual life, your family or social life, your financial life, and your emotional life. If any of these areas are out of balance, they tend to affect the outcome even in the other areas. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think about this exercise. Put a comment below to let me know what you think about that exercise of balancing your life. I have a question for you. What will you do differently? To start improving the balance in your life. If you're new here and you have not yet subscribed, do press that subscriber button so that you don't miss any of the videos we post every week. Thank you and best wishes. Keep watching. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.